Hi and welcome to another video. On this video you'll learn how 20x entrepreneurs plan and host webinars to generate leads and how you can use the same for your business. As a salesperson, your primary goal is to get your message in front of the right person at the right time to increase the likelihood of them making a purchase. At 20x entrepreneurs, sales is at the core of what we do and we strive to get our message in front of the right audience in a consistent and scalable fashion. We are a digital first company and as a result we rely on digital solutions to reach our audiences. We have become experts at using webinars to to reach and engage with target audiences, generating hundreds of leads and successful conversions. For those that may not know, a webinar is simply a seminar conducted over the internet. It is a live online broadcast presented to an audience where the host can share videos, presentations and any other media. So what is involved in hosting a webinar? Here are the steps we follow when preparing for our webinars. First, we identify a valuable topic to present or discuss on. We get ideas from previous webinars or topics we find that could be of value to our audience. The typical focus of our webinars is selling because that is what our audience expects from us. After selecting the topic, the next step is setting up the webinar on our webinar platform. After setting up the webinar on the webinar platform, we are able to get the web link that will be shared with the public as we conduct the next step, which is creating the webinar material. The marketing material are the posters and captions that will be used in marketing the webinar. We make sure to include the topic, the speaker, the date and the, the time and the link to the webinar. We make sure the caption is catchy to grab the audience's attention and spark interest in the webinar. The next two steps happen concurrently. Number one, preparing the presentation and webinar material. It's important for the content to be presented to be engaging and to, to ensure that you hold the attention of the audience in the course of the webinar. Also, making the presentations ensures that you give value to the audience for their time. Secondly, the marketing of the webinar is done, which entails distributing the marketing materials on available communication channels such as social media, email marketing, WhatsApp, or even SMS. During the distribution process, we provide a link where potential webinar attendees sign up through a form and provide contact information which will be useful for future communication. Lastly, as the date and time of the webinar ne draws nearer, it is important to send reminders to those that have registered for the webinar. People continue with their daily lives and it's important that despite them having registered for the webinar, that you remind them of the exact date and time for the webinar. The, the reminder are prompts to ensure they remember to log in for the webinar. And, and finally, it's the day of the webinar. You begin your webinar preferably 30 minutes before the webinar starts so early attendees will be able to find the host present. Let's hear from our lead digital marketer at 20X to understand the role webinars play in our sales funnel. Yes, um, my name is Derek Gadrimo. I'm the lead digital marketer at 20X. And one of my biggest uh, priorities or one of the jobs that I do at 20X is creating webinars. Um, it is our lead sales funnel. How long has 20X been using webinars to generate leads? Um, since since the beginning of 20X. In fact, 20X is a child of webinars. Before there was 20X, we started as webinars uh, teaching business people on, on how to do business better during COVID. And out of the demand that we got, we found that we could create a company, a, a training company. And so 20X itself came from webinars. On a scale of 1 to 10, how effective are webinars at generating leads? Um, from our perspective at 20X, webinars have been very effective. I will call it a strong 9. Very effective. But it's, it's not that webinars in general, I can't put a blanket statement. Because depending on how you do your webinar, is how, it's what determines how effective it will be. So that's what I can get to say. What would you say are the biggest success factors for webinars? One, um, the biggest success factor is the content. What are you calling people to come and do? A big mistake 
I see a lot of businesses doing or people who are doing webinars doing is that they come here with the motive of selling something. True, we do webinars as part of a sales funnel. And at the end, yes, there is a product we are selling. But you have to learn that for the webinar to be successful, the content that you're giving, it needs to be helpful to the people who are there. So if you come right into the webinar, and I'm sure many people have that, have seen that if you if you if you are into online learning you get into a webinars thinking that you are going to be given information helpful information and the moment they, there is like maybe 5 minutes of of something being taken very lightly and then from there it's a sales pitch of a product that's how not to a webinar webinars should be about informing people giving them information um giving as much as you can so that people can see value in your product yeah. is there any other success factor that comes to mind one you you also need to consider one it is your topic and that that comes from your audience for example if you are doing webinars and you're not very clear about who your customer is let's say for instance um as 20x we are a sales training company and the sales has a lot to do with business if we come up with a topic that attracts the wrong crowd the webinars won't be effective as a sales funnel it, it's it's about crafting a topic that appeals to your ideal client that appeals to the brains of your ideal client if you do just if you just do webinars and on any topic just to get people to come in yes you will get your leads you will get a list of names but because you 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 are not on topic you won't get your ideal customer what do you find to be challenging about hosting webinars? The most challenging thing about hosting, it is not one thing. It is many, and I don't know which one is the most challenging. The most challenging thing, um, figuring out, you have figured out the pains of your client, but where do you place your webinar? Look, let's say you are a small company, you don't have a marketing budget to do ads, right? And ideally, if you're doing webinars, and they are free, many businesses would find it difficult to do ads for them. So it is placement. Where do you place your ad where there will be a lot of people clicking to sign up? That's number one. So number one is sign ups. So how we deal with it is look for places, let's say whether it's groups, online groups, where which, is, which are very le relevant, let's say groups of business people, groups of entrepreneurs, people who are sharing ideas about business. That's where we put them. Number two, it is it needs another challenge is getting people to show up. Fine, people have signed up and you told them, let's say a week in advance and they signed up. But signing up is not the same as showing up. So, you need, you need to create structures where people have reminders. Remember, people are going on with their lives. Just because they signed up to your webinar doesn't necessarily mean they'll remember it. So it is for you to remind them and set up structures where people are engaged. Number three, it is the, the biggest job of the webinar is not even preparing the webinar or getting people to show up, but is what happens after the webinar. You see, if you don't do something after the webinar, you won't close those sales. So you've gotten your list of names. How do you follow up these people? And how do you nurture these people? Because they are leads. They are leads. So nurturing them, um, following up with them, and closing them. That is really the hardest part. What happens after the webinar? What's the biggest tip you could give someone that is looking to start hosting webinars for themselves or their business? Um, the biggest tip I would give you is perseverance. When you start, believe me, not many people will show up. And you begin and you might feel discouraged that maybe five, six, ten people have shown up. But it is part of the process. You have to trust in the process. So when you're building up this brand, you have to understand that you have to start from somewhere and you are not going to get results overnight. Number two, another lesson, you have to hold them on a specific date. They can't be ad hoc. 
so that people in their minds know on a certain day, every week or every so often or every month, they usually host an event, a webinar. So people, your audience already expect it. Number three, do not underestimate the value of that webinar in terms of building your brand. You might think customers just came to you. Let's say someone right now calls one of your lines and they, they are not in your database. They are not people from your webinar. They are not people from your from any of your any of your databases. Do not underestimate what those webinars can do. The word of mouth sometimes spreads faster than even what you can do digitally. So you can even do it, you can even do it as a way of brand marketing, but also as a way of creating content. It is not a must that people come and show up. After a while, you can cut it up into pieces and put it in, in your social media accounts. So there are so many ways to do it, and, and that's how we do it at 20X. And that interview with Derek brings us to the end of this video. I hope you've gotten to have a, a, an, an idea of how you can plan and execute webinars. And just a quick recap, we have these six steps that you can follow. Number one is identify the topic to present on, set up the webinar on a platform, create the marketing material, create the webinar presentation, market the webinar, send reminders to your audience, and lastly, host the webinar. I think if you follow these six steps, you'll be able to successfully host webinars. And as Derek said, it takes time. So be patient and trust the process. And hopefully, you'll get the sales and the leads you're looking for. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And share this video with other entrepreneurs who you think might find value in identifying new ways of getting new customers. Bye for now.